You'd never expect to see people in Shanghai, China's most affluent and cosmopolitan city, screaming for food. We are starving, we are starving, they yell. But after weeks long COVID lockdown with no promised end, desperation. One community volunteer recording the home of an elderly woman. She says neighbors heard the 90 year old shouting help for three days, pleading for food. Her fridge, empty. Volunteers were finally able to get her a meal. China's central government now in charge of managing Shanghai's COVID outbreak. In a month's time, the daily case count went from double digits to more than 26,000. CNN, the only U.S. TV network with a team living through the lockdown. In my community, we're only allowed out when summoned by workers using a megaphone and, when dark out, a flashlight. Getting a late evening now request to go get a COVID test. My neighbors and I line up, ready for health workers to scan our QR codes, which link the results to our ID. Night or day, the testing is constant. We can also leave the house to line up for government distributions or to get approved deliveries, usually the most exciting part of the day. It looks to be vacuum sealed pork and then several boxes of traditional Chinese medicine. It's a bunch more face masks, a box that has a bunch of fresh fruit. On top, they have some frozen meat and then two antigen kits. Food deliveries this plentiful are rare. So most of us spend our mornings trying to order groceries online, but orders sell out quickly. Not enough delivery drivers to get through the lockdown barriers. Communities like mine resorting to group buys. We come together in chat groups and try to source food directly from suppliers in bulk. <laughs> neighbors helping neighbors is a common theme across the city. We found a safe drop spot to trade cheese for oranges. Our community's volunteers help us source food where they can though they too are exhausted and hungry. From above, you see this metropolis, quiet, eerily empty. But on the ground, there are tragedies shared daily online. This man recording his father, who says he's unable to get admitted to a hospital in the strained system. His dad later died, he says. All of this is a result of China's zero COVID policy, a directive from the top. The uncertainty leaving this man broken, doing the unthinkable, questioning the leadership aloud, asking, where is the Communist Party? David Culver, CNN, Shanghai.